Canon offers plenty of DSLR cameras. In this video I will tell you about each DSLR camera from their current lineup, their advantages and disadvantages for videography. So grab a bag of popcorn and enjoy. I will start with the Canon 1200D T5. It can record video in Full HD up to 30 frames per second and 720p up to 60 frames per second. It only has a Digic 4 processor, which is by now quite old. Because of this the camera does not handle high ISO values so well. Means already at ISO 800 you will see quite some noise. The 3 inch screen only has 640,000 pixel, what is only half as much as the other Canon DSLRs have. Especially for video work this is quite annoying because you don't have a sharp screen. The camera has no flip screen, no touch screen and no continuous autofocus during video mode. The inbuilt microphone has only mono sound. You cannot connect a microphone or headset. You cannot use manual settings in video mode. And there is no magic lantern available. You can see that this camera sucks very hard for taking videos and this is why the camera only gets 1 out of 5 stars for it. The next camera is the Canon 100D SL1. It is smaller and lighter than all other Canon DSLR. It as well records Full HD up to 30 FPS and 700p 60 FPS. But it has a Digic 5 processor, which can deliver cleaner images than the Digic 4. The camera has no flip screen, but it has a touch screen with 1 million pixel. It has continuous autofocus during video recording, but it is not the most recent version. And because the camera only has 9 AF points, where only one is cross-typed, the AF is not as accurate. The inbuilt microphone can only record in mono. You can connect a microphone, but you cannot connect a headphone. You can use full manual settings in video mode, what counts for all the following cameras as well. There is no magic lantern available for this camera. And I give it 2.5 stars. In terms of video settings is the Canon 700D slash T5i very similar to the 100D. The only differences are that the screen is flippable, the sensor has 9 cross type AF points which should help to achieve better autofocus and the inbuilt microphone has stereo sound. The camera gets 3 stars. Canon 750D slash T6i has the same frame rate and the same screen like the 700D, but it has the hybrid CMOS AF3 technology for better continuous autofocus during video mode. It has a Digic 6 processor. My test showed that ISO 3200 on this camera looks like ISO 1250 on a camera with a Digic 4 processor. Other than that, same like 700D. It is a bit better than a 700D, but it still gets 3 stars. The 760D slash T6S has two differences to the 750D in terms of videography. First of all, you have a second screen on the top and you can take HDR videos. Which definitely is a cool feature, which doesn't have any other Canon DSLR so far. 3.5 stars. The Canon 70D has a Digic 5 Plus processor, also has a flip and touch screen, and a dual pixel CMOS autofocus technology. The second screen is bigger than on the 760D. You can do AF micro adjustment to correct front or back focus issues on lenses, same like the most of the following cameras. And the camera body also has water sealing, also same like most of the following cameras. It still gets 3.5 stars. The 7D is already a bit older, but still quite popular. It only has a dual digit 4 processor, no flip screen, no touch screen, no continuous autofocus. It is water sealed, generally very well built and has a big second screen. Magic Lantern is available. But in the end, there aren't enough advantages to choose this camera for videography. The 7D Mark II can record Full HD with 60fps as the only affordable Canon DSLR camera. It has a dual Digic 6 processor, it has no flip screen and no touch screen, but it has an internal intervalometer for time-lapse videos. It has microphone and headphone connection. It has a clean mini HDMI output. It has a new dual pixel CMOS AF which without touchscreen is obviously less intuitive, but it has more configurations for the autofocus, like sensitivity of the autofocus and how rapid it adjusts the focus. Since you have the crazy amount of 65 cross-type AF sensors, you will be able to get very good autofocus results. There is so far no magic lantern available. Still 4 stars. 
The 6D is the cheapest Canon full-frame camera. It can only record Full HD up to 30fps and 700p 60fps. It has a Digic 5 Plus processor, but no flip screen, no touch screen, no autofocus during video mode. It also has no headphone connector. Other than that, it is a very decent camera that produces amazing images. So in the end, the only real advantage of this camera is its really nice picture quality. Magic Lantern is available for this camera, but it still gets only 2.5 stars because of the lack of so many features. The 5D Mark II is a very old camera, but people still love using it. It can take videos in Full HD up to 30fps, but has no 720p option. It has a Digic 4 processor. No flip screen, no touch screen, no continuous autofocus during video recording. It has a microphone and headphone connection. And with Magic Lantern you can record raw footage. Three and a half stars. The 5D Mark III records with Full HD 30fps and 700p 60fps. It has a Digic 5 Plus processor, no flip screen, no touch screen, no continuous autofocus. But it has microphone and headphone connection. And you can record raw footage with Magic Lantern as well. Three and a half stars. The 1DX Mark II records with 4K 60fps and Full HD 120fps. This is what I would expect from each Canon DSLR camera, but you only get it with the crazy expensive flagship. It has a 3.2 inch screen with 1.6 million pixels, what is more than all the other cameras. The screen is touch but not flippable. It has a dual pixel CMOS AF continuous autofocus, a microphone and headset connection. Four and a half stars. Now, what is the best Canon DSLR camera for video work? If you are on a tight budget, the 100D, because it has a microphone connector, full manual control, continuous autofocus, and it has a touch screen. The only thing it lacks is the flip screen. 750D or 760D cost more, but they have a flip screen, have a better continuous autofocus system and a Digic 6 processor. 760D even has HDR video. The 70D is a bit more professional, but for me, the differences aren't that relevant. 70D Mark II has no touchscreen and no flip screen, what is quite a bit of a trade-off. So only get it if you really want the headphone connection and Full HD 60fps. I want it. For me, this is very important and that's why I chose to get a 7D Mark II, even though it has quite a high price. 5D Mark II or 3 only if you really want a full frame camera, otherwise I would stick with the 7D Mark II. The 5D Mark II is now after 8 years quite outdated, so it lacks a lot of functions. The Mark III on the other side is very expensive and doesn't give you that much more options. The 6D would be the cheaper option, but also lacks pretty much all video options that the new DSLRs have. The 1DX Mark II is amazing, but the price is obviously far above what 99.99% of you will want to spend. If you didn't buy yourself into Canon gear yet, I highly recommend to look into companies like Panasonic or Sony, because they currently produce DSLRs with a lot more video features than Canon. I might have made a few mistakes in my list, so if you realized a mistake or if you have any additional comments, then I would be happy to see them down below. Thanks for watching.